Hello Cancer, <clears throat> welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot um, <clears throat> I hope you're all well wherever you are um, I've decided to do an, um, an extra set of readings this week um, because we have the solar eclipse and the new moon on December the 4th um, in the early hours of December the 4th uh, particularly for us in the UK and the Northern Hemisphere um, uh, but wherever you are, there's going to be a solar eclipse, and 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 you know, and there's going to be the new moon. Of course, the further south you go, head, ending ending up in the Antarctic. Um, if you're in the Antarctic, you will see the full the full solar eclipse. Um, but nevertheless, wherever you are, uh, this energy is happening. Um, so I just wanted to see what that meant um, for all of us, for all of you, um, according to your star sign. Um, Okay, so I've pre-shuffled the cards for you, uh, Cancer. So I'll just do a final shuffle now. But just to say, um, it is a general reading, so uh, just take what resonates with you, Cancer. Okay. So let's see what these energies, these powerful energies, mean for yourself. Um, cancer. So I'm going to do a slightly different spread here. So we're going to look at the challenges that these energies are, are bringing in. Um, but also have a look at what needs your attention. Um, advice from spirit. Uh, a possible outcome here. Um, and then an energy from uh, the bottom of the pack. And we'll have a look at that in a little minute. So a final shuffle of the Anna K Tarot. We'll put these down as clarifiers and again one from the bottom of the of the pack. So let's have a look at the um, overall energies first of all. Oh, we have two two major arcanas. Um, we have the universe and we have the chariot. Wow! So fabulous. This this is um, this is like the the world uh, energy um, in the ordinary tarot depiction, um, but the universe. So a completion of an old of an old cycle, and of course that's the solar eclipse, isn't it? And the new moon that's coming in so something is completing um but ready for um a fantastic new beginning new opportunity because something look is picking up a pace here we've got the chariot now you know of course the chariot is your energy in the major arcana within tarot so this could simply be saying this is you for your this is yourself that is something completing for yourself something you there's going to be let go of but you're going to then be taking off within this new new direction new opportunity new beginnings in in within some some area um of your life and we'll see what else comes out in the reading um but fabulous uh, eclipse and new moon energies here on the table for you So let's get a little, dig a little bit deeper now. What what are the challenges that are going to come in come in for you, um, Cancer? Well, you're being asked to look at to choose wisely. This is a challenge for you, and the Page of Pentacles. Now, choose wisely. This is deciding on which direction you're going to go, and this is the challenge for you. There's different. You're going to have different options. Uh, there's going to be one in particular though that I feel will stand out and it looks like the, uh, the bird of spirit here is, is trying to help guide you towards where the sun is shining here. Um, but this is a challenge for you and, and which it, it always is when we have multiple options. Um, but I suppose it's really about taking your time with that um, cancer. And the clarifier is the Page of Pentacles. And this is fishing for something, you know, casting your line to try and catch something that is going to be um, valuable for you, productive for you, you know, to help with um, this new beginning, this new way forward. Um, but of course, you know, 
that this this these are the challenge these are going going to be the challenges for you um you know finding whatever it is that you need um for going forward you know choosing that direction that's going to um help you get the most out of whatever it is this is referring to for you whether it's life in general whether it's to do with work and career whether it's to do with relationships but there's something about the need now then this is a challenge for you to choose wisely um and be able to catch what you know you deserve to catch you know to catch something that promises growth and abundance all right so these these are the challenges for you um what what needs your attention now okay it's pretty clear isn't it we've got another major arcana here new beginning so this new beginning uh needs your attention now needs you to focus on and, and of course we've seen we've seen the challenge haven't we which is about choosing wisely which way to go and but this is what needs your attention um to look at this and consider carefully the way you're going to go um the clarifier is the eight of swords yes because you know this is being trapped in your mind feeling stuck not actually being stuck but overthinking something um feeling that that you know you can't see a way forward or a way out of a, a, a bit of a difficult situation um and this is what needs your attention now uh, cancer or will be in the in the near future and um, this is what the energies are bringing in um try and come out of your mind i feel that's what this is saying try and come out of your mind a little bit um, because this is a very opportune time now a very important time as an old cycle is has ended or is ending getting ready for going forward um but you know try and come out of your mind and and don't don't overthink it and don't feel that you're stuck because you know you have the world at your feet here cancer so advice from spirit now so advice from spirit we've got emotional withdrawal and we've got the two of pentacles okay so I feel what what spirit here is saying is take some time out take some time out your emotions are going to be a little bit all over the place um but take time out um perhaps move yourself away from the crowd from where all the the buzz and the noise is and uh, if if you live near the sea if you're near water go near to water uh, meditate near to water um practice yoga for some for some that helps it's about finding your calm center your center where you feel the most peaceful really and um, just to um look after your emotions and um give yourself some tlc because you can see here that and the reason that spirits are advising this is because you've been juggling quite quite a few things up in the air um perhaps to other people making light of it so other people don't actually appreciate um how what a difficult situation this has been and and it probably still is um so and but you know all the while juggling um and that and that can be quite wearing can't you putting a brave face on all the time so you know you're being advised now just um to to take some time out you know and look after your emotions so a possible outcome here um we have another major arcana um which is the major arcanas are significant events significant energies um so possible outcome wisdom so this is the hierophant in in ordinary depiction uh, within tarot um but this is seeking wise counsel you know tapping into your um higher knowledge tapping into the higher 
wisdom of the universe here. Um, this could be seeking wise counsel yourself. Um, allowing, perhaps allowing others in or somebody in that you trust that can support you now at this time and give you give you good good support and good counsel here. Um, somebody who, perhaps um, um, an elder or a, um, uh, an older family member perhaps. But somebody you know that is very grounded, um, comes from a higher, their higher self, um, that can help and support you in, in this situation. But there's, a, there's um, success and achievement here. Um, this, this is coming in for you, the Six of Rods, Six of Wands. And this is about achievement, being successful, being victorious after a very difficult battle coming in from a very difficult battle, but being victorious. Um, I feel also the universe is saying, you know, it's giving its rubber stamp on this also. I feel this, this solar eclipse um, and also the new moon is bringing in some quite powerful energies for us all um, in different ways, Cancer. Um, but the, this is a lovely outcome for you. All right, so just very quickly to recap, the, the, uni there's the universe, um, there's, a, there's a completion of a cycle now and a new, a new opportunities, new beginnings and for yourself with the chariot, but also, you know, things are going to start to pick up a pace here. But the challenge for you is to, you need to um, take your time and choose wisely now the next steps um, so that whatever it is you uh, are casting your line out to catch is, is right for you. Um, you don't want to be catching something that is not, you know, not right for you now. So it, that's about taking your time now. You have got options um, because of this, you know, a new beginning. Uh, but what you know, is would be helpful for you is to try and come out of your head now. Um, um, negative thinking can have negative um, consequences if we believe we, we can't do something then we probably won't do it um, so it's just changing your mindset I feel ready for stepping out in the new beginning here um, and then yes um, spirit is saying you know take some time out then take some time out uh, meditate um, have some relaxation some rest some peace um, because you've been juggling too many balls up in the air all at the same time um, and yes, uh, seeking wise counsel or connecting with universal energies here um, that want to help. Um, but there's a guarantee here for whoever this is for um, of success and achieve and victory. So use, using your wisdom, you know, tapping into your inner wisdom also, as well as perhaps seeking out external support. Um, but only from those that you can rely on and, and you can trust and you've got a history with, I feel. All right. Um, right, quite powerful energies for you here, Cancer. So let's see, two final messages for Cancer, please. Two final messages for Cancer. What else? What else would you like to say for Cancer? And remember, although the um, solar eclipse and the new moon happens in the early hours of um, December the 4th, um, these energies will resonate a little bit beyond that, of course. It will influence and resonate um, for a little while after. Okay, Cancer, here we go then. So, travelling lightly, simplify your life and breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. That's fabulous. Travel lightly. So, this is getting rid of that now, which is no longer serving you. Whether it's about decluttering in general or whether it's moving on from that which has been holding you back. Uh, but it's about simplifying your life now. Um, 
you know, moving away from all this juggling, too many balls up in the air that's, that's drained you emotionally. Um, it's about simplifying your life now and, and setting off in a new direction. Travel lightly. Um, all right, bear with me. I feel I'm, I'm drawn to come back to the uh, Choose Wisely here. So when we talk about simplifying your life and travelling lightly, whatever it is you choose, whatever it is you um, discover, um, it doesn't have to be something that's going to weigh you down. It doesn't have to heap more responsibilities or burdens on your shoulder. And I feel that's why you're being asked to choose wisely here. Um, because the breakthrough is at hand now. This is your opportunity now, Cancer, um, to start afresh, to start anew. Um, after all the hard work, you know, you are making headway now. And the breakthrough is at hand. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Solar Eclipse New Moon um, reading. Um, I've enjoyed doing it for you, Cancer. I love the energies coming through. There's certainly significant movement now being brought in um, for us all, I feel. Um, but for yourself, good luck going forward. Um, and uh, till next time, um, bye for now.